Okay guys, on this rather crispy and chilly winter day, I'm going to be talking to you guys about snowshoes. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down two parts of snowshoes. And that is how to, or what to look for when you're choosing snowshoes for yourself. And then lastly, we'll be going over to where I think you can find some snowshoes for really good deals, because we'll get into that in just a little bit. Okay, so without any further ado, let's just jump right into it because it's negative 15 and uh, it's a little cold. So, to start off with snowshoes and finding the right snowshoe for you. Now, there are snowshoeing experts that will probably have more to say on this, but to keep it really basic and honestly the most important things that genuinely matter when choosing a snowshoe for yourself are two things, the weight limit and the bindings. And of course, you can choose whatever design you want, whatever design you like. You know, some look more like this, some are made out of complete metal, some are made out of complete plastics. And so there's many different types and styles of snowshoes, but ultimately the most important uh, factors are choosing a snowshoe that will support your full winter weight. And when I mean your full winter weight, I mean your body weight plus all the clothing you will be wearing plus whatever equipment, backpacks, knives, axes, whatever, you will be hauling out with you. Now, a th tip that a lot of people that I've watched videos about don't talk about is that I like to think when choosing the right winter weight for your snowshoes, if you wanna have the best experience being above snow and truly snowshoeing, you wanna try to choose a weight limit or a maximum payload that is roughly about 20 to 30, maybe even 40 pounds heavier than, or in support, that it can support 20 to 40 pounds heavier than what your actual winter weight is. So to give you an example, say my maximum, or not maximum, but my, say my winter weight with everything, my body weight, everything included, came to 210 pounds. I would want to try to choose a 250 pound uh, limit or max payload snowshoe and the reason why I say this is you can take your snowshoes right up to that upper limit of say 240 245 pounds but the problem becomes that your snowshoe will not do as effective a job of keeping you above the snow when it's that close to its weight limit so having something that can support a little bit more than what you're actually putting on it means that your snowshoe will have an easier time keeping you above the weight also remember that your max payload uh, take, has to take into account the weight of the snowshoes. So these particular snowshoes weigh about two to two and a half pounds per shoe. So that is a hard cap limit that, you know, when you're looking at uh, the, so the max payload or support, these snowshoes automatically, you know, support about five pounds less than what they advertise because of the weight of the snowshoe. So the next thing to focus on is bindings. So this is a binding on a snowshoe. It's what connects your foot to the snowshoe itself. And there's nothing too much to say here. There are many different types of bindings and it can be a little bit hard if you're not physically trying on the shoes when you buy them. But ultimately you want to try to find a binding that will work with your winter shoe. Not just any shoe from the street, but if you're gonna be wearing things like bunny boots or mucklucks, you wanna make sure that the binding will work with those shoes. So those are the most important factors to look at when purchasing a snowshoe or when finding a snowshoe that's right for you. There are many different companies out there that make snowshoes. I am personally pretty partial to tubs and the primary reason is just their lifetime warranty on their products, but there's certainly others out there like Atlas or MSR. There's plenty out there that make solid and I would say at least decent snowshoes. So the best place to buy snowshoes. Now, if you do a quick Google search, you will probably find that snowshoes are pretty expensive brand new. You're looking at for an average adult, especially male, weight rating of you know 200 to 300 pounds in max payload, you're probably looking at about a snowshoe that's gonna cost a minimum of $200 to a maximum of three to $350. And that's pretty expensive, especially when you're trying to start out and kind of just get into the whole uh, winter scene. So my biggest recommendation, and actually where I got these Tubbs Aurora 25s, is just eBay. You can certainly go on Facebook Marketplace, especially if you live in a larger area that has snow sports or snow activities. 
um, in Facebook Marketplace might work for you. But uh, I really like eBay, and eBay has a lot of, of course, used snowshoes, but they have them for well under $200, and even sometimes under $100. And so I'm not going to say that you can get them for super cheap, but these ones right here costed me about $60 plus free shipping to Alaska, which was pretty crazy. I don't think the uh, original seller had that in mind, but... Uh, I got these things for, like I said, under $100, and they work well for me. And so I would heavily encourage going to eBay to check out snowshoes. You know, you're not going to get brand new snowshoes. They're not going to be the latest year model design. But at the same time, snowshoes are designed to last forever. They're not like our normal shoes that we wear and wear out. Snowshoes are really designed to last for a lifetime. So, and even, like I said, Tub Snowshoe has a lifetime warranty on their snowshoes. So, you know, if you get an older model, even a model from, you know, the early 2000s, they're still just fine. These snowshoes, you know, technology hasn't really changed that much since, you know, these snowshoes were made. And I think that these are in early 2000s. Uh, I, think, I don't think they've made the Aurora in quite a while. But, you know, like I was saying, they just don't really change in technology that much. And they're really designed to last for a very long time. So, I would heavily recommend going to eBay unless you really are dead set on buying a brand new pair of snowshoes. There's no reason why you can't go to eBay and buy some older snowshoes but have plenty of life left in them. And once again, you know, you can get these for a fraction of the cost that it would normally cost you to get into snowshoes. So if you are trying to start out getting into wintertime bushcrafting, hiking, backpacking, camping, and you want snowshoes, definitely check out eBay. And those have been my tips on where to buy snowshoes and really what to look for in snowshoes. Uh, you know, doing a lot of research, looking at designs that you want, looking at designs that you like and brands that you like will definitely help with finding them. But ultimately, what I would recommend is just go out, see what you can find, and go from there. So as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.